All right, so uh, Jimmy has, sorry, Jimmy has a uh, picture tomorrow. Okay, Jimmy? All right, so uh, last time, we had a suggestion. What is your vision? Uh, vision is a organized, lean, profitable facility that we would all be proud of to hold up as our championship trophy. That's what, that's what my vision is. Okay? They specifically asked me what my vision is, okay? So that's what my vision is of the new facility. Also, over on the other side, on the communication board, we now have uh, basically like a flow chart of information. So how that's going to flow, flow down from what Roy, what Roy has going on with the new building. They'll tell the uh, four of us, and then we'll communicate with someone so everyone has somebody to communicate with about the building, okay? And then also, we want to go, the communication goes both ways, so you know who to talk to to go to the meeting to have conversations about it, okay? So that way, if nobody gets left out, then we don't forget about Maria and the wire department and nobody's communicating with Maria, and then somebody else doesn't get communication, okay? So that's why we have a communication tree set up there, so if you take a look, uh, and Laura can help you read it, because she's got, you know, five books to help read the small print, okay? Um, also, don't forget, Thursday, next Wednesday, Ose is here, so please make sure everything's straightened up and ready to go, okay? All right, and then we had a great improvement. Um, obviously, the wrenches, you know, Marty went and took it and uh, painted the wrenches for each cleaning room for the different sizes, and also then obviously glued it down so they can't come off, so they're there every time when they need one. Uh, obviously, that's a, that's a lot better than what it has been in the past in trying to search and steal. So let's give Marty a big hand. If anybody else has looked in there, I don't know if everyone, I think it was probably Marty five months ago, I think I got up here and said, I don't know why one material handler would work in a hands of plastic. It was so bad in the cleaning rooms. It was such a mess, I don't know why anybody would come to work here. And those guys have turned it around. If you guys look at all the material handlers and what they've done at Marty and take a look at those, they've done a phenomenal job. So let's give all those guys a big hand. job tasks such as processing scrap or tracking time and attendance will also be taught to each team leader. The way these tasks are taught is using the same method described earlier for training team members on their process. Standards are prepared for most every task one can learn at Toyota. There is a standard for how to calibrate an air tool or wrench in order to get it right tightness. There is a standard on how to properly maintain a piece of equipment to prevent breakdowns. And there are standards on how to process scrap. By having these standards, it makes the task of training that makes the task of training that much easier, and then training is able to follow up the training. The trainer is able to follow up the training by comparing the student to the standard. This follow-up process is the trainer's confirmation that the student is able to perform the task on their own. They are then given a full 100% circle on their training chart and are considered ready to move on to the new task. By the end of the four or five years, the team leader has already developed the training and train the person to most of the tasks that would be expected of a group leader. This will give them a good foundation to step into the role of the group leader when they get promoted. Okay? So again, it's just, a, it's just making it standardized, and you can see that they have a chart to make sure that it's done. And, you know, we, we do that with our matrix on the stuff that's not standardized, which we need to standardize, okay? So, uh, you know, you, we'll be seeing this, this type of situation, even for some other stuff we're doing in the office. So just understand, not just the plant manufacturing is going through lean, we're looking at the other processes that we do in the office too, so they're, they're to starting to change those, okay? All right, so the video, it's, uh, it's, more for, it's for everybody who doesn't get a chance to drive to the new facility, okay? Uh, not everybody I know has the opportunity. Some people have, some have gone over there for to see what it is, so this is a video of uh, the process that's going over there from here.